Welcome, <coughs> oops, welcome to this video. Dexter Morgan, yeah, I played him before <coughs> when he played a very weird opening, losing quickly. <laughs> this is now, now it's time for super solid stuff. Let's see, bishop f4, queen's gambit declined. Okay, it's going for b6. Yeah, that's a good line, especially if you want to have a little bit of a fighting position with black with b6. Okay, so I'm <clears throat> just going to keep it simple here. Let's see, queen e2 or take first. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I can also take it first. Okay. Yeah, maybe rook c1. I'm not sure if I want to play queen e2. The queen normally goes there, but <clears throat> here maybe queen a4 is also an idea. This is a typical position with hanging pawns. Um, d5 and c5. Uh, knight e5. My bishop should be on e2 here. That's not a great position. I wonder, yeah, knight e5 is <clears throat> kind of normal, centralizing. Uh, he might have d4 at some point. It's okay. It should be okay anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> centralizing this piece. And, um, Okay. Hmm. I thought this should be okay. Ah, so okay, he can he can he can play bishop to c six. Okay, this is still quite okay for him. I see. Queen a four maybe. Um, it's in general trades are are welcome. Welcome to me. Those pawns usually get weaker if more pieces are exchanged. So I don't mind mind some trades. Important is that he never really has rook b8 due to this bishop here. Okay, I can take now. Now he's playing very quickly. Not quite sure why. Mm. Any need to hurry? Queen b3. Hmm. Yeah, maybe uh, we can go group b6. Huh? That's that is not helping me much. Bishop g5 is also a move. Uh, increasing the pressure on d5. I don't know, rook d8 or something. I mean, I can take maybe just on a7. Rook a6, queen b7. Mm, looks a bit tricky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's possible. Is uh, the big pre-move king? Yeah, always entering pre-moves. <laughs> yeah, I'm threatening knight c5 now, winning this pawn, and it's also a big, a big fork. Okay, so queen to g4. Hmm. I take c5, rook a2. Hmm. Yeah. 
It's not a bad position. I can also do this. Or maybe I should have taken there immediately. Yeah? Probably was better. <coughs> Somehow, <clears throat> got a sore throat here. Um, yeah, oh, come on, let's let's trade this. Oops. Um, I cannot take here for whatever reason. I don't know why. Why can I not take? Yeah, what a weird player. But he's really high rated, yeah. Quite strange. Okay, rook takes. So let's think about it. What's the best possible setup? I cannot take, unfortunately. Here, this rook d6 coming. e4 is running into <clears throat> into trouble, so I have to prepare e4. Mm. Yeah, the time time is the the real issue. Time warning. Okay, trying to simplify matters. Knight to c4. Okay. Fifty three seconds. Mm, not good. And then there's e4, yeah, not good. <laughs> okay, check. <clears throat> check. Check. Checkmate. Checkmate. Which he ignored. Surprisingly ignored. I mean, okay, I was winning anyway, I guess, but still, mate is mate is mate. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand what this guy is doing. He's uh, mostly just playing, yeah, pre moves and, and whatnot in a situation where it's not. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay, let's have a look. <clears throat> was not much happening around here I think this is about equal I was trading off some stuff but uh, it still keeps everything within equal territory and I have some pressure now on d5 went here here yeah and now I went with this yeah, queen g4, yeah, interesting. I could have taken, but rook takes knight d3. I'm not sure how much this is. It's not bad for white, but it's also not a position where I can hope for very much. This is simply active. No, that's okay for black. Okay, so I went here. 
Yeah, and now actually the computer is giving me a huge edge yeah, already. And I can take now, which I didn't do. Yeah, I was playing h3 a bit too quickly, thinking, okay, let's do something for the back rank and so on, but I can really just take the pawn. The one point is that I have this move and then b4 with just the pawn. Yeah, that's better. But for some reason here, I mean, he just has to take, of course, <clears throat> here. And in this position, I think, I don't know if this is anything for white. If anybody, white is better because of those pawns that are slightly under pressure, but it's nothing serious. Comp is on 0 0.1, something. And this is just blundering. Yeah, I think from a technical point of view, I played it okay up to a certain degree, but then all the pre-moves uh, took its toll, took their toll. Uh, B4 is strong here, for example. Uh, B4 is just winning. Threatening B takes C5. Yeah, that's easy. Okay, and here, again, B4 was winning. Check. Now he had bishop f2, but okay, this guy is not playing playing for proper chess. Check. He's just playing pre-moves and everything Check. quickly and so on. He's not trying to, to win even. Check. Here I'm again better. And um, Check. around here it Check. gets tricky because he got himself into this, this position on the edge of the board. Yeah, h4. Check. And this is just winning him. He can play rook f5 to prolong matters but it's just a one end game okay thanks for watching